Hi, welcome back to Soy and Friends. Today we are reading Cat vs. Dog. I can't tell you what type of, what type of book this is, but I am. Um, okay, but I really have never seen this book, but I, but I looked through the pictures. And it's cats and dogs. Mostly just cats and dogs and other animals. And cat lover, dog lo lover, this is your book. If you happens to love both, you may have to choose sides after reading it. That's back. Okay, so now. Oh, hi, Evan. Let's see. Now I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Chapter one. Oscar hung his head down the window of his father's pickup truck, his tongue flapping on the breeze. This was his favorite thing. Oscar watched the wind sl sling with his stringy slobber sideways. It was his favorite thing. I keep on saying that. The truck was moving 70, maybe 80 miles an hour swerving around other cars and trucks and motorcycles. Oscar's all shiny hubcaps swimming everywhere. He wanted to chase them all, but chasing stuff was his favorite thing. Oscar knew that, that this was, that this family vacation to the Western Frontier Park was going to be the best park, park park ever. Already was. It was his favorite road trip ever. I had breakfast this morning. It's my favorite thing. I saw a squirrel. It's my favorite thing. Oops, I just farted. It's my favorite thing. That's what this is. Showing, showing it, um, showing it to Sydney. That's in here. That's also a cat. Wait, no. Wait, no, we're talking about dogs. Yeah. Suddenly, Oscar heard something. Wet goes splat. His father rolls behind the wheel. Oh, cheese on a biscuit. One of them stupid cats. In that stupid sous vide, just stuck up and put his head and hopped up a hairball. It splattered all over my windshield here. Duke, said Oscar's mom. mom do you forget to take your, tem your temper your temper shots this morning? No, Lola. No, Lola. Because this was supposed to be a fun family vacation and... Splat, another wet loaf of shiny hair glowed to the record of hit the windshield. Ah! Bully sick, grumbled Oscar's dad. Why can't we, why can't we just, why can't they just burp for once? He jammed up his paw down the, the elevator. The truck sh shot up the road even faster. But no, they always had to hook up two hairballs. Put it on a funny, fancy pants cat voice. Oh, look at me. I'm so special. I'm a cat. Every time I puke, I puke twice. And they had to do some, some stupid thing where, where they heave their shoulders up and down. Added Fifi Oscar's teenage sister. They, they go they go gack gack, like like they have to announce that that's that's what they're gonna puke or whatever. Cats are so totally gross and disgusting. So let's give them something to really puke about. Growled Dad. He pressed his paw down harder on the accelerator. The rambling truck tore it and rattled and raced up the road. Duke yelled at Oscar's mom, holding. Holding on to an overhead handle for dear life. You're scaring me! 
then sit on the wee wee pad, Lola. Because it's gonna be, either, either dog's gonna do what a dog's gonna do. I'm gonna chase you in a cat, the, that cat. Also gave, gave a hearty, ow! And the Jusky pickup truck zooms have highway, cutting in and out of the traffic until it's a parl where there is a sleek black SUV. Hey, Mr. Whiskers, Dad shouted across the front seat of the cat behind the wheel. Watch where you're puking! Oscar scanted and in happy amputation. This was going to be, be so, so good. Listen to your father yell at the cats. Was his favorite thing. Chapter 2. Holly Hisselson sat in the back seat of her, of her family SUV, pretending to, pretending to enjoy the classical music of her father listening on the ra radio. Molly was an was an ex excellent actress. She was good at pretending things. The brand new, fully ex exquisite SUV that had litter box behind the back seat hummed along the the highway constantly. Its motor softly purring. Now isn't Meow Zart marvelous? Said Molly's father, as he conducted. The sympathy music with sympathy flicks of his tail. <laughs> What's this book about? Well, this book is about cats versus dogs. That's the name of the book. Who de who de tapitated this mouse and dropped it headless body into my cup holder? That was me, Dad. Well done, son. Well done. Molly's mother was curled up into a sunny front seat, napping peacefully. Molly's brother, Blade, who was feeling better and a brief, brief bout of car sickness, who was included in some hairballing, was playing with his hand heels, game Gimzo, and, and chasing a red dot. The cats were on their way to Western Frontier Park, home of the rare, exotic, frightful wild creatures. Molly couldn't wait. It promised to be the quite extraordinary, dramatic vacation. Suddenly, an old, rattly old pickup truck filled with slobbery dogs pu pulled alongside the cat's sporty utility vehicle. The, the curly figure mop, mop both paws and snarling dogs behind the wheel parked. Don't you even think about it, Sydney. Good girl. Okay. Of course, Molly, Molly, um, couldn't hear what what he was barking. The Suvi had very good s soundproof. There was a young dog, a a boy about Molly's age, age with his head hanging out of the rear cab window. The boy was slobbling all over himself. So disgusting. A fuzzy tennis ball bounced off the Suvi's driver's side window. Molly rolled her eyes. Molly's father sighed and poured down his tinted window. Molly glanced at his seed, seed dumpster. They were flying, flying along at 80 miles per hour. Mo Molly sank her claws into the seats so she wouldn't get blown away. Yes, yes, her father sneered at the dog with a sly grin. May I, may, may I be some assistance? Are you dogs looking 
for yet to another place to pee? Pull over, barked the dogs behind the wheel. Oh my. Oh my, said father's said, said Molly's father in a sneer way that, that, that makes her giggle. Listen to dogs using words. Both of them. I know more words than than them two, shouted the dog. Oh really? Then speak, sir. Speak. I'm all ears. No wait. That's your son. Except that he's he's t he's tongue, of course. He's all tongue, of course. You want some of this? Shouted the, shouted the driver dog, shaking his pound up paw at Mally's father. Some of what? He replied. Your dog breath. Candy chew a milk bone before the next public speaking em engagement, sir. Your beef jerky breath is stinking up the highway. I'm going to stink you up, rat. Cat. Cindy, they're okay. Oh, yeah. Something okay, Boomer, darling? Asked Molly's mother as she stretched and yawned. And yawned in the passenger seat. Yes, Fluffy dear, go back to sleep. Just attempting to, to teach this old dog a new trick. Good luck with that. She recurled her body and fell fast asleep. Where are we? Where where are we there yet? Asked Blade, looking up momentarily from his video game. No, said Molly. Father, father father's dealing with a dog. I hate dogs, said Blade. Yes, Blade, said Molly. We're cats. Hating dogs is what we do. Always have, always will. Molly's father hissed at the dog, showing his sharp teeth. The dogs barked furiously. The cats meowed merely. Then, then, then Molly's father pushed the gas pedal and the to the floor, shot up the road like a rocket, and left the dog mobile behind in the cloud of dust and fumes. Dogs chuckled to Molly's father. The more they bark, the less I care. Um, father said, Molly, looking out the rear window. Yes, Dumpling. The dog. The dogs are gaining on us. Still pooping in a box, cat. Dogs drool and cats rule. Chapter three. The the two vehicles screeched through the front of the gate in the Western Volunteer Park in a cloud of smoke and the shower of, of, of sparks at exactly the same second, Oscar's dad bounced up the pickup truck, wagging his tail. Woof, woof, hoo in your face, cat. We beat you. Will he do that? Yelled Oscar. My dad's the best. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. The cat, the cat driver slowly slinked about the SUV, the SUV, dancing, licking his right paw as if he didn't have a care in his world and in a whole wide world. What an ever tenant universe! Dogs losing equal, winning flea brain. He asked, "Who are you going flea free?" Fully brain hairball. If if stupid fits, if the, if the stupid fits, wear it. Well, at least it'll smell like a can of tuna that's been sitting in the sun too long. No, you smell like a wet dog. That's what's the matter. Couldn't you wait until until you found the fire hydrant? What about you? What about you? Still peeing in a sandbox while trying to cover it up?
shrieked a commanding voice in a majestic looking hawk owl who was wearing a who was wearing a park ranger uniform and riding a horse with its antlers. Wow, said Oscar. He's part hawk, part owl. Yes, whispered his mother. This part this park is filled with many magical and myth mythical creatures. Bunch of weirdos, whispered Oscar's dad, and said Muscle. He looked like a freak. I'm a she, said the hawk owl, and thanks you and thanks to my owl hat, I'm highly developed authority system. Eh? said Oscar's father. She said she can hear very, very well, you dumb dog, shouted the cat driver as the rest of the family piled out a soupy into a pier into the pier in the sunshine. Except that the teenage cat boy except the teenage cat boy, he was playing video video game and stayed inside the car. Are th are we there yet? he howled. Yes, Blade. Now let's leave, I'm bored. You can soar like a hawk, ma'am. Oscar, Oscar asked the park ranger eagerly, which is how he asks everything. Hawk owl nodded. Best of both species. I'm hack, I'm hawk-eyed and owl-eared. His horse is weird too, said Oscar, said Oscar's dad, murmur muttered whoever heard of a horse with antlers me said hawk owl as i said i have very good hearing welcome to western frontier park fyi my horse is actually part mouse Chapter four. My ancestors, you see, wise hawk owl, to the wise hawk owl, tucking her wing behind her back, realize something you cats and dogs have failed to learn. The world is filled with many fierce and wild creatures, especially here on the far edge of civilization. The dog family tilted her their heads sideways to listen. The cat shut their eyes and yawned. Boring, whined Blade. Hawk Owl kept going. My ancestors quickly realized that up against the fierce beast who still roam in the dark forest of the wilderness, they somehow learn to live together and somehow die alone. And that, Oscar's dad whispered suddenly, is how you end up with a freak show riding on mouse horse. The dogs panted out a heh heh chuckle. I can still hear you, said the hawk owl, tapping in the side of her owl head and sip over the hawk wing. Good ears, remember? Whatever. Whatever, mumbled Fifi, who, like many teenagers, grew impatient, whether, whether boring or Old people spoke wisely. Tell us when you're done. Tell us when you're done. Park person said the tubby, said the tubby tabby blade. We're missing our naps. Where pray tell is where is where the cat section. Acts a cat mob. We need we need to bathe. You mean lick yourselves? shouted Oscar's dad. Oscar howled how, how, uh, with, with laughter. Hawk Owl sighed. Oh, east is east and west is west. And never train shall meet. Huh? 
said Oscar's dad. It's poetry, said the Snoopy cat dad as his family climbed back into the SUV. Read a book sometime. Why read them when you can chew them, said Oscar's dad, leaning right back to pick up truck. Oscar's Oscar ho hopped back in the back seat and stuck his head out the window again. What a shame he heard the hawk out owl to her more moose horse. What a waste of our beautiful park. That means he between two species that has caused the world so much grief. Who can for the sag of dogs dumping catnip into Parston, Parston Harbor? Or a horrible battle of a piercing done feared war one. All creatures get and small have stopped because the engineering cat and dog feud will never n ever end. That made Oscar happy. He wagged his tail. He he was glad the dogs and cats would never live in together in peace. He didn't want to ever use a litter box or chase or chase red laser dots. Dots. Cats were dumb, and there's no way he would ever feel different about them. Chapter five. Every morning for the next five days, Oscar Oscar did the exact same thing, because dogs like like routine. Bright and early, before the rest of the family, he even had crawled out of their dog beds. Oscar would bounce off his tent and give the air a good long sniff. Delicious. Do mix with the clover and hints of pine, sassafras, and mud. The park is paradise, he explained. He explained, checking. Checking the green fields and rolling hills and deep, deep forests and distant mountains. His tail wagged, was wagging to the right. Which was the way his happy, which way wagged when he was happy. If he flapped it to the left first, it meant he was scared. But there was some, but there was nothing to be scared in the Western Frontier Park. No matter what, what freaky old park ranger said. So many sticks to fetch, so many fields to roam around, so many places to poop. And the best part is about the, what's the best part about the dog camp? No cats. They have their own they have their own separate campground. Thank you very much. It's the way off somewhere in the east. There was a scratching post dangling thing and the catnip just in, just in, seen in miles just for dogs and a tennis ball, a squeaky toy, and bacon for breakfast and an awesome looking obstacle course for the dogs who liked, who, who liked shepherding stuff. Oscar hadn't seen a cat in five full days. Thank goodness. In in the distance, Oscar could see a mountain that looked like a huge hooked nose with with a droopy wart on one side. side, side. It, or maybe it just looked like a pile of mashed potatoes with a cable stuck in, into its peak. Or maybe just a mountain made of entirely of chopped meat and a bone-shaped bi dog biscuit poking out of the side. He was, yes, he was definitely hungry. Time for dog's breakfast. Time for a dog's breakfast. He pranced around the open field, heading heading to the mess hall, which, because it was for dogs, was was always very messy. He drew closer. He could smell his sausage on the bottom, a very fresh bag of beef jer jerky, and a set that had just ripped open with his teeth. He picked up a pace and broke it into a trout. Oscar was quite athletic. He was the star player on his school's tennis ball team. He was speedy, too. An average dog can run about 20 miles per hour. Oscar, coach clogged him down 27. He was pretty, he was pretty agile. He might have to try out that obstacle course after breakfast and then, of course, reward himself with a nap. 
He was just about to dash in a mess hall when his nut is a mu muzzle and a bowl of a meaty mush when he had to dig real prowls and to skid into his stop. Or he would have crashed into sleep. Black suv The same suv they had chased, in, they chased into the park the day they arrived. Chapter 6. It was the same super snooty cat family. Oscar sat down and tilted his head right while the cat dad stampered down of the suv The eyes met. The, the hair on Hackle's Oscar's back stood up. The cat dad hissed. Trust me, he said to Oscar the same. We don't want to be here to miss the Maggie Mutts and Morals and Margols here. Oscar tilted his head an inch more to the right. He didn't know what a mist meant, but plus, plus his mother smiled. I packed a meatloaf. Wait. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> there wasn't a, wasn't a mist anywhere. No fog either. The cat clawed a long lounge into a fence post. He made a splint. He made a slip. A splinter. Jag wood stick, and I could look at a nail to a hang sign. It was a missing cat poster. Huh? thought Oscar. Why are you looking for a lost cat? Would anybody in the whole world miss one measly cat? There seemed to be a bill billion of them running around scaring birds, tormenting mice, and yelling at the moon. One less would matter. Plus, Oscar was on vacation. Dog didn't matter for lost stuff on vacation, except for bacon. To find Molly today, white fur, blue eyes, last seen in chasing a butterfly. Cat, um... If a slab on bacon went missing, every dog in the park would search would form, form a search party, sniffing the ground and tracking it down. The cat climbed, the cat dad climbed back into his sous vide, muttering, Waste of a sign. Dogs can't read. If they could, they'd beware themselves, just like the signs say. The tires on the back on the big black vehicle shot gravel to backward and sped and sped away. When it went, when it stopped when it stopped blocking the mess hall entrance, Oscar could once again savor the delicious aroma of bacon grease mixed with sausage grease. He licked his he licked his chops. It was breakfast time. Oscar, uh oh, his tail wagged to the left because his dad was screaming his name, which. Which went, which was still scary, even though his dad basically screamed all the time. Come here, boy, said his dad. Grab your backpack. Mother says we need to go on a nature hike this morning. Oh, boy, thought Oscar. Oscar. We're heading off into the glorious, magical, marvelous world park. He looped over where his dad, mom, and sister were waiting. What about breakfast? He asked eagerly, like always. Mother smiled. I packed meat, meatloaf sandwiches and bacon smoothies. Oh boy, thought Oscar. Meatloaf sandwiches and bacon smoothies were his favorite. That was seven chapters. Wait, wait no, six chapters. Yeah, six chapters. And 30 pages. Six chapters and 30 pages. Okay. Oh, hi, Taylor. Okay, question. Why do dogs like fire hydrants? Well, they have to do their business on it. Okay, that's the only question. What? Wait, what is Sydney doing? Well, I can show you. Maybe I stick my wrist, but I can check Sydney. Sydney? Can you see? Okay. Okay, one second. Look at the camera. Sydney, look at the camera. Okay, she does not want to look at the camera. She does not want to look at the camera. She's really mad at me.
She does not want to look at the camera. Okay, th thanks for watching. Out. Bye.